Hi, this is a free CAD quick tip for how to use create an edge linked to an external geometry. So let's create a new part and we're in the part design workbench so we'll create a sketch from there. It doesn't matter which plane, I'll use the XY plane and I'll just draw a square. So I have my fully constrained square and now that I've got that constrained I'm going to show you where that create edge from external geometry linked to an external geometry tool is. I'm not going to use it just yet because this is going to be the external geometry that I link to. So I'm going I'm finished with my square I'm going to create a pad with that so let's close it make our pad maybe make that 50 millimeters as well and there it is and so there's two uses for um, that tool the first one is if I want to if I want to make another another extruded object on one of these faces I've done everything right now so I can just pick my face check my geometry and now let's say that I want to um, extrude something that is coincident with a couple of my lines or a corner here so the first thing that I would do is maybe make another square let's just extrude a, uh, extrude a square and now I want this line to be exactly lined up with this edge and this ed this line to be exactly lined up with this edge so a way that I can do that is I can come up here to create an edge linked to external geometry and pick um, actually let's 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 line it up with these edges because um, the, the origin is here so we'll we'll pick something that's not the origin so um, if I hover over the corner you can see that it turns yellow you just barely see that it turns yellow there so I click it and now I've got a red dot there and now I'm gonna line up this line and this line with this edge and this edge simply by making that dot and that dot coincident and now I can um, give it give this square the rest of its uh, specifications and we can see it's fully constrained now so I'm gonna right click out of this close that and now uh, since I've already got it selected I can make a pad from that another thing that I might want to do is um, so that was all in this that was linking it uh, all in the same plane so let's say that I want to link things in two different planes I'm actually going to um, maybe just back up out of here and undo as many things as I can get back to my original geometry my original sketch here and now let's say that I would like to uh, make make a curve about this and link it there and there I'm still going to use the same tool so let's make another sketch in yep the XY plane okay and now I can see my you know I can see my original sketch there and I want to uh, let's make a curve or a B spline and I want to link that to that and that to that so right click to get out of that and I'm going to again just use my create an edge to link to an external geometry and hover over this until you can see it turn yellow I don't know if you could see that but it's it's yellow there there we go and now you can see the red dot so now let's make that and that both are green and make them coincident and now let's make whoops we got a link to an external geometry again hover over this until it turns yellow wolf it's tough to see maybe we can go like this I really just want to make it connected to that
I'm going to make those coincident. And now if I come to uh, a, an isometric view and maybe twist it around a little bit, now you can see that um, my sketch in my, I think it was the, my sketch in this plane is coincident to my sketch in that plane and that becomes useful if I say wanted to loft across these and I wanted my loft to be bounded by my sketch in the other plane you would want all of my um, lofting sketches, my b-spline sketches to be connected there. So that is how you use the create an edge linked to an external geometry